end of your quest to rescue the princess. She awaits you in the top of the tower. Unfortunately, the evil Dream Guardian has heard of your coming. He has set up tremendous defenses to stop you. I hope that the mighty warrior of the Pupu Nunu people is ready for a fight. In order to continue, you must use this catapult to destroy the nightmare defenses. What's a woody catapult doing in the dream world? The dream world is a mixture of many things. You must have seen a catapult in the real world and brought it with you. In the dream world, your mind makes it real. Really? Really. Cool. Indeed. Now throughout the whole entire game, this has to be the level I hate the most. Um, the only thing I like about it is the music. Oh, the music's so good. If I could find the soundtrack for this game, I would still buy it. Really good. Actually, you know what? After I'm done with this part, I'm actually going to search on the, uh, Google the soundtrack, so I want to get this on my iPod. I'll probably put it in a future video if I ever find it, but yeah. Basically, uh, this whole level takes me like 25 minutes to beat, because if they spend this time in this catapult, the controls are really crappy. And how the hell did I just miss there? Yeah, the controllers are really, they're not that good, but after like five minutes, I actually get used to them. Yeah, you don't have to destroy those roots, you just have to destroy the gigantic tentacles that are like, yeah, the, oh wait, hold on. That thing I destroy, you have to destroy those things, and the thing, those gigantic thing, and the thing I just killed the uh, earlier. And you don't want to get close to them, because if you do, then you'll take a lot of damage and you'll die. But it's not like you die and do the whole level over again. You die and you just come back and you have to kill it again. But I still recommend you don't kill it. I mean, uh, you, you don't die. Plus, if you want to, you, you, you just run into it. I don't do that because I'm stupid. I'll do that later. Yeah, that thing right in front of me, that's one of the things to kill too. And I just love how panic when I still die. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so you do this for the whole entire level, and trust me, you'll get sick of it. I mean, I got sick of it. The good thing is, the music's good, so it's not all that bad. Wow, I missed. Wow, I missed again. Oh joy. Oh joy. Oh joy. Oh joy. Oh freaking joy. Wow, this is exciting. Wow, this is really exciting. Oh yeah, this is so exciting. Oh my god, again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now he shoots at me. That's bad. Wow, my health is really low. By the way, um, I figured out how to make my videos, uh, well, like the screen better. Because, if you notice, uh, for my walkthroughs, it shows the screen, yet on the side it's like black, it's like a little square. Uh, I figured out how to fix that, and I'm probably going to use it, I just came up forgetting. Because every time I make a new project, uh, in my uh, iMovie library, um, I always set it to widescreen by accident. So that's a problem. I, I have to switch it to either standard or uh, iPhone. And I recommend if you have an iMovie OA, use iPhone because it's much better than standard. I hate standard now. And my stream is so good, but I just like I have iPhone better. And by the way, you can't. What's a bug doing in the green world? Uh, yeah, you can't um, hit that thing. You have to go all, the long way to kill it. I try, trust me. Oh, wait, can you? Okay, never mind. So yeah. By the way, my card on eBay is doing really good. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my other video that it's at thirty-six dollars and one cent. I already posted the website of it. And yeah, I'm not gonna post it here because you can find it in my other video. Plus, I, <laughs> it says "Charge Like Garage" on my videos, so obviously, uh, yeah. But um, yeah, it has one day left, and I bet I I have. I um I'm I have hopings and I have high um what's the word I'm looking for? Um I have 
I bet that before it ends, it will reach a lot, either 50 or over. And yeah, so then again, I know it's probably going, it's probably only going to go, the highest bit of it is probably going to be like 50, which sucks because it's like a hundred dollar card. And I know I'm not going to find any other lower price, I mean higher price on eBay. But I, I would like to get at least 70 bucks for it. At least 70 bucks. Oh crap, it hit me? What the hell? Uh, anyway, yeah, like I said, at least 70 bucks. I know they won't go that far. And if they do go over like 70, I'll be so happy and I will sell it for like 70. Even though it's like worth 150, I will sell it for 70. So, yeah. Yes, that's it. Now, drive through the gate. Now we have access to the second area on this level. And by the way, you only have to destroy everything in the first part and the second part, but for the third part, you don't have to destroy every single route. It just makes this whole game. Oh crap, did I do it? Okay. See, you don't want to fall off the edge. That's bad. I just dropped my card if you heard that, but it's in my little case, so it's not going to get damaged. Trust me. I mean, you know what's weird? You really want to know what's weird. A booster box of the Dueling Genesis ranges from 60 to 80 bucks. Yet one card in the whole entire box is worth more than the box. The box should be then like 150 bucks. Isn't that weird? And that cannonball should have broke because of the high pressure fall. But I just find that so weird that one card in a set is worth more than the actual set. That is so damn weird. That's what I'm doing. I just find that so weird, but thank god it's that way because I don't want to pay 150 bucks for a booster box that I'm probably not going to get that $150 card in. This was a lucky pool. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, and yes, I'm going to repeat myself one more time. No, I'm probably going to repeat myself like 10,000 more times. Um, I plan on getting more of the Dueling Genesis packs, and I plan on getting the next two tins, the Stardust tin. I plan on getting two Stardust tins, I also plan on getting the Dueling Genesis booster box. Like I said, uh, the money I get for the card that I'm selling on eBay, I'm going to use to buy my booster box with. And I better get some damn good cards in there. Not like my last video, where I got crap pools in 15 packs. And by the way, there was this kid who com uh, commented on my card, and he says, uh, they're not worth a uh, dollar, you're just saying that stuff to make yourself feel better. Why the hell would I make myself, I mean, why would I even say that on YouTube? If it wasn't true, I wouldn't say it. But it is true, that's why I said it. So obviously, it's true. By the way, not every single Walmart will sell them on sale. And that was a damn close shot. But yeah, people, it, like, as soon as I say you your cards are on sale at Walmart, they think it's on sale at a Walmart near you, and then they say, oh, you're a lying son of a bitch, not on sale. Look, dude, I don't live where you are, so obviously it probably isn't on sale. God, sometimes people on YouTube are such retards. Ugh, see you in uh, part 21.